This is a video to show the progression that I've had from out-of-the-box performance with iPerf 3 and a 100 gig NIC and um, the performance that I've achieved after some tweaks and I just want to show that progression. I'm not where I want to be yet. My goal is to get line rate through these 100 gig NICs. Right now I'm topped out around 80 to 85 gigabits per second and I just want to show how to at least get to that level and also ask if anybody else has achieved line rate through 100 gig NICs with iPerf 3 using only one instance of iPerf 3. That's, that's the catcher. So I'm going to fire up two different instances of iPerf 3 on my server machine. Let me back up. So these three windows on the left hand side are uh, windows or terminals that are open to my server, my iPerf server computer. And the iPerf server computer is connected back to back through the 100 gig link to my iPerf client computer, which has the, a similar three windows open on it. And you can see that by the name in the window here. This is D7 and this is D8. So I'm going to fire up those two instances of, of iPerf server, one on the default port and one on a port right next to the default port. And here I've got HTOP running on both machines and here I've got um, if config running watching the, the interface on both machines and looking over here at my iperf client I will start out with just a basic the most simple command and you can see that I'm getting about 12 gigabits of throughput using just one instance of iperf now Considering that this is a 100 gigabit NIC, that throughput is kind of lousy because it's like, you know, what, 15% of the what it should be capable of. And so one of the biggest things that I've done, I've already set this up, is I've, I've changed the frame size on both of these to the max supported by the NIC. These NICs are Mellanox, uh, ConnectX4, 100 gigabit NICs. But the next, the first tweak that I did that made a big difference is running two threads of, of iPerf3. So if I do that, whoops, if I do that, do the capital P-2, notice that our, our throughput went up quite a bit from 12 to about 18 or 19 gigabits per second. And for whatever reason, I'll show you here, going to like 3 or 4 or anything beyond that, um, oh holy cow this made a big difference now what's going on with that what if I go to 8 okay that's that's interesting I haven't seen that happen with iper 3 before that's crazy uh, so aside from that, another, hang on, let me go back to two threads, because that's where I had ultimately gotten my best throughput before. So using two threads, and then adjusting the window size, manually configuring it to uh, two megabytes, made big improvements. You can see we went from 23 and a half gigabits per second up to about 7 or 60 some gigabits per second and then um, enabling zero copy transmit gave another boost now we're at about 74 gigabits per second that seems to help I'm really curious if doing more threads now would make a difference yeah not really not as much as the, uh, certainly not as much as it did when, when I had, um, if I do that, no, I didn't like that. <coughs> I 
I'm getting off track here. I'm starting to experiment instead of showing what I've established. So I'll go back to two threads and then set my window size to two megs and then also add my, my length and set it to one meg. And we should be around, I thought it would be closer to 80 with this. Previously I'd, I'd gotten like 83 or 80, 82 gigabits per second with these settings. What is different now? Did I do 2 megs? 2.5 megs maybe? I'll try that. Okay. So 83 and a half, 83 gigabits per second. And then if we keep going, say we try and go to 3 megs, there's a point of uh, diminishing returns. So it got better with 3, why not go up to 4? I keep saying megabits. I should be saying gigabits. I get thrown off by that. So, oh, it's not that consistent. I ran the same command again and what got us 87 gigs last time got us only like 82 gigs this time. And we'll try it again just for kicks. Oh, 89, 87. So anyways, this is the, this is about where my um, my experimentation has topped out. If I went to try and um, let's say I want to try more threads now, for example, I get a big decrease in performance. And if I wanted to try and get more threads, instead of doing it with this, if I wanted to run multiple instances of iperf, I'll just copy this command. And then type and and then paste the command dash p fifty two oh two and then we'll do a dash t to to name the threads so we'll call this stream the second one is stream two and the first one we'll call stream one and then we should hopefully be able to make a little bit more sense out of the results and we could manually you know add them up when I do multiple streams that way pull out my trusty calculator here we find my stream 2 sum is 42.2 gigabits so 42.2 plus my stream 1 sum where is that Right there, 47.5, 47.5, I guess that is a little bit of an improvement over what I was getting. Let's just run that again just to see how consistent, how consistently it runs at that level. So clear that, that one. 44 gigabits, so we'll do 44 plus for stream 2. Stream 1 is 41.9. 85 85.9. So, no big gains from running, basically doubling the amount of threads I'm running it on. You'd think that I should get better performance than, um, by percentage, it's a really small gain. One more time, stream one is 46.3. 46.3 plus, where is stream two? So 41.3. 87.6. So, again, looks like those three times I had 87, 85, 89. And then if I cut out that whole second stream, and 
and just run you know one instance of that I guess it is an improvement if I'm only getting like 82 ish now but certainly not double like you would expect to get from doubling the amount of threads I'm using oh look this you know, I'm getting similar uh, similar throughput doing just one one instance so I was getting 87 with one instance of iperf anyways I feel like I'm rambling now Any, uh, so the gist of this video shows where you start out of the box versus where where I've ended up with some parameter changes and ending also with questions on I, I'd love to see you know 98 or 99 gigabits per second reported here because I'm using jumbo frames it should be able to go that high if I was to um, instead of pointing my iperf at, at the remote host if I did local host it should give me a theoretical max on my hardware I'm CPU bound at 103 gigabits per second sometimes that varies from one run to the next I've seen as high as like 115 or 120 so I don't know why why it's showing only 103 right now but long story short I, I want to know if anybody else has achieved line rate on a 100 gigabit connection using one instance of iperf3. I hope this is helpful for some and I, I hope to achieve that goal of line rate with one instance of iperf3 on a 100 gigabit ethernet link.